once again the cake cooks. It is once again Pizza Wednesday and we are once again cooking a pizza from the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And this is going to be really nice today because it includes my favourite ingredient that we've done on these so far. Once again we are doing anchovies. And with the anchovies, banana. This pizza is from episode 139, Snakes Alive. So to kick things off, here's a quick recap of the dough process. Cold water, boiling water, yeast, give that a mix. Flour, salt, yeast and water mix. Mix, knead, grease your bowl, give that a wipe. Work your dough into a ball, cover and leave to proof until doubled in size. Here's a quick recap of the sauce process. Tin of tomatoes, a little bit of salt, a little bit of pepper, pinch of garlic granules, pinch of basil, a pinch of oregano, and blend. And that's finished. And that should leave you with a nice ball of dough. So, let's dough. Sorry. Little sprinkling of flour, spread it about, get your hands a bit dusty, take your dough ball, Ball it up, flatten it out, and stretch. Once we've got that stretched out, I'm going to use one of these pizza baking sheets. So as always with the turtle pizzas, they always look like a cheese and tomato pizza on the cartoon. So we always just go with the cheese and tomato pizza and whatever toppings that they have to say in the episode. So the first thing we need is our tomato sauce, about three quarters of a ladle. Pour that on, smother it about. Got some anchovy fillets. I remember these last time, they were delicious. Now with the anchovy fillets, these are in olive oil and I learned last time that they made everything incredibly greasy. So I'm just gonna take a bunch of them on here and just try and pat some of this excess olive oil off of them just so it doesn't make the pizza as greasy and maybe it might be a bit edible this time. Try and just get a bit of this oil off of them. Got some of it off, definite. Set these off of here. Just quickly chop these in half and pop them on. Our next ingredient is bananas, so just give that a peel and give it a chop. Let's add these bananas on. I cannot say I've ever tried bananas on a pizza, so I have no idea what this one's going to taste like. So, so now let's add a bit of mozzarella. And I think that should be ready for the oven. So we'll leave that to cook and then we'll come back and we will taste the deliciousness that I'm sure is going to be involved with this banana and anchovy pizza. Okay, so now our anchovy and banana pizza should be about done. Oh, I mean, there's no question about it. It does not look nice. I mean, right now it just sort of looks like a banana pizza. There's anchovies under there though and not gonna be nice. Ah, oh, anchovies and bananas. I can't wait any longer! I want that pizza! Okay. Plenty of banana, and I can see a nice bit of anchovy sticking out over this end. And you want to make sure you're getting a bit of everything, don't you, in a pizza like this? Because... And go look, you can see that like, I've got plenty of anchovy in there and banana, a bit of everything on this piece. Nice little anchovy bones. Oh my, oh my, oh my. So, Oh, 
it wasn't as greasy as the last time Cherry won because we removed some of the grease. So that was a bonus, but oh, the texture of the banana. I'm not really, I like bananas, but warm bananas, not really something I eat. And oh God, it's just mush. And the, and the flavor of it mixed in with that anchovy, oh, it's just disgusting. Oh. Yeah, I'm not eating any more of that again. So that's two anchovy ones now. Both times I've had to spit it all out because I can't swallow it. Ugh. There's two more anchovy ones yet as well. Right, so once again, that one straight in the bin. I'm not going to be eating this. Right. <laughs>